Today, we have got the road to the knockouts, Damian objectives. He is a center back, which looks really good. I was expecting him to be a right back or a right wing back like his usual position is. I assume, yeah, he has got old positions for a right wing back or a right mid. But as a center back, this card has gone from average as a right back to very good as a center back. For cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to mmoexp.com and use code DAVIS at checkout for 5% off your order. He's got a five-star weak foot, medium, medium work rates, maybe a little bit annoying, respectable pace, very nice short passing, so maybe like a play out from the back type of center back, if you will. Amazing dribbling as well for a center back, good defending, physical is on the really weak side, and this is the only thing about the card. Do you go for an anchor and only get the plus four pace, but get that necessary strength first, or do you just stick with a 68 strength um, and rock a shadow, give him the plus eight pace, but you know, just hope he doesn't get out strength too much. That's a decision you have to make but nonetheless boys at least get in it to the objectives and how you can complete them in the most efficient way possible first of all you've got to assist five goals in squad battles on at least semi-pro difficulty or you can do it in rivals and foot champs that's simply up for you to decide but i think this early on into the game it only makes sense to do it in squad battles uh, so you need to get a assist with an italian player so those assists can be a through ball can be a normal pass across anything just need to get an assist with italian players you need five of them to be exact score eight goals in squad battles once again at least semi pro rivals or champs using a player with at least 80 dribbling okay dri is dribbling um so need a player with 80 plus dribbling concede one or less goals per match in four separate matches in squad battles on at least semi pro and this is where i definitely would just go yeah do these objectives in squad battles on on semi-pro. I don't recommend trying to do this in rivals or foot champs. Concede one or less goals obviously just means you cannot concede more than one goal. So you cannot let your opponent, if you're playing the AI, you cannot let your opposing squad battles team you're playing score more than one goal in four separate matches. So you can win 3-1, 4-1, but if you win 4-2 they've scored more than one goal so it will not count um that's why it's just too risky doing it in rivals or champs got win 12 matches uh while having at least three cdr players in your starting 11 now this in my opinion is when you can start doing it in rivals and let me explain this is what i think is the most efficient way to get this done so this is what i would do all right i'll head on over to your team and this is my squad right now i'll choose three cdr players we need one of them to be italian as well to try get some assists we need an italian in a good position we'll go for Lukaku up top uh why not go for Bastoni we need like an Italian midfielder that can help us get some assists uh you know what Z Z mm, we'll go Locatelli why not right it doesn't really matter how good they are so you'd go ahead get your free Serie A players in your starting squad and then you would head on over to the squad battles tab as you can see I've already got elite one it's kind of below my webcam but I've got 52,000 points I've played all my games uh, but you are greeted with four teams now lots of you guys will be able to beat the high rated teams on semi pro no problem um, but when you do play these low rated teams on semi pro you should be able to absolutely better them so what you'll want to do with the free Serie A players one of them being Italian going into squad battles and playing them on semi pro difficulty you'll be wanting to assist five goals using an italian player you'll be wanting to score eight goals using players with at least 80 dribbling and you'll want to concede one or less goals per match in four separate matches so let's say you play four games in squad battles and you concede one or less in all four of those matches on semi-pro which you should have no problem with and within those four games you can get these done which will be pretty quick in fact you could get these two done in the first game if you are good enough um but that's personally what i would do on squad battles the then you'd be left with eight wins to get in rivals or foot champs with just at least three Serie A players in your starting 11. Then what you can do is go into a rivals or foot champs game, pause it straight away and sub off your free Serie A players for your main starting team players that you'd normally use. So it basically is just going to feel like a normal match with your normal team. Just to recap one more time, get free Serie A players in your squad, one of them being Italian so you can get some assists. Go into some squad battles, semi-pro matches, and you'll want to get five assists with an Italian, eight goals with a player with 80 plus dribbling, and you'll want to concede one or less goals per match in four separate matches. 
you'll then be left with the wins with at least three Serie A players in your squad in rivals and champs and this is where you'll simply want to do rivals or champs it's up to you you could keep doing squad battles if you want um, but you may as well do rivals if you're playing and grinding rivals anyway you can just sub them off straight away and it will, for the main players that you normally use and it will feel like you're using your main team that in my opinion lads is the most efficient way to complete Road to the Knockouts Darmian.